हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे विल डिस्कस एन अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन गूगल एड्स एंड दैट इज हाउ टू ट्रैक आवर व्हाट्सएप बटन दैट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द वेबसाइट एंड वी नीड टू ट्रैक द सेम इन आवर गूगल एड्स कन्वर्जन एक्शन सो इन टुडे वीडियो आई विल गिव यू दी ओवर व्यू हाउ टू डू इट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ कन्वर्जन एक्शन इन द गूगल एड्स अकाउंट एंड देन हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ टैक्स फॉर द सेम इन द जी टी and with the help of that we will able to track the whatsapp click in our google ads account so without wasting any time let's dive into the video thank you so much so first of all uh, we just need to go to the uh, google ads section google ads manager and here you just need to go to the goal section uh, in the summary and once you click on it you will see there are lot of uh, conversion action already created so we have already created conversion action to track sales uh, to track form leads now we'll create a new conversion action to track the whatsapp click so that when somebody land on our page and click on the whatsapp button it will be count as a lead in our google ads account and for creating the same you just need to add your domain on which you are working on you just need to add it here then click on the scan button once you click on it it will give you the option to create a conversion action manually so now i'll click on the add a conversion action button and here you will see the different category options like submit lead form book appointment request a quote so we need to create a, a conversion action for the whatsapp click button so i will use here uh, an outbound click basically uh we will click on the button and that will be count as a conversion in our google ads account that's why i will choose this option here and after that you just need to name it as i will name it whatsapp click and after that i will not choose any value because it is not a purchase conversion action so we'll not choose any value here and then you will choose every count and you need to add like 30 days window conversion and uh, it will for the engage conversion view as well after that you need to choose the attribution model and that is data driven but you can choose last click as i always choose last click because that will give us more accurate data if i compare the same with other attribution models and after that you just need to tick off the enhance cpc button because i don't want that after that you just need to click on the done button and as you can see your outbound click conversion action is created here and after that click on the save and continue button once you click on it it will give you the tag managers label and conversion id so that you can put the same in the gtm section and then you are able to create a action like conversion action the gtm as well and uh, now you just need to go to the gtm and here you need to create a new conversion action and that is for tracking the whatsapp click button so you will choose the google ads conversion tracking tag here and here will you will put the conversion id and then here you will put the conversion label as well and after that you just need to use a trigger as our main trigger is whatsapp basically we will use this text as our trigger so that when somebody click on this particular button it will count as a conversion so i will choose this text and copy it and we will use the same in our conversion action i will let you know how to do it you just need to go there government rok jana hai start so now we'll create a trigger and in the trigger you need to create a trigger for all elements and here you need to choose the some clicks option and you need to uh, like uh, you need to track when somebody click on the whatsapp text so you will choose here the text option like click text so when somebody click on that particular text it will be count as a conversion in our google ads account so i will click on that and now it will be automatically pasted here now you just need to paste the whatsapp text which is written here if you see there is a whatsapp text written here we just need to paste the same as it is so that once somebody click on that 
it will be easily count and now your trigger is created you just need to name it whatsapp click and you will name it whatsapp click and click test is your uh, main trigger and then you just need to click on the save button and once you save it as you can see now our conversion action is successfully created so this is how we do it this is how we create a conversion action for a whatsapp button and we will able to track the same in our google ads account once it will create it successfully so i will name it so as you can see now our whatsapp click button conversion tag is already created in the google tag manager section and everything is uh, going good and we just need to preview the same so that we will double check our conversion tag is working properly or not so for doing this you just need to uh, as our whatsapp click conversion tag is already created and now we just need to check whether it is working perfectly or not because without doing that we are not able to know is working uh, in a good way or a bad so what i will do now is i will go to the preview section and i will click on the preview section and here i will put my website on which i have created that event and then i will click on the connect button and now we are on the preview mode of our google tag manager now what i'll do is i will just click on the whatsapp button to see whether this uh, like tag is fired or not currently this tag is not fired because we didn't click uh, on the whatsapp button yet now i will click on the whatsapp button and check it is working or not and as i have click on it now we need to check and as you can see whatsapp click tag is fine it means our tag is working perfectly fine and now we are able to track google ad conversion action for the whatsapp button in our google ads account so this is how we do it this is how we create a conversion action for the whatsapp button click and with the help of that we'll get a lot of data like whether the person who land on our page are clicking on our whatsapp button or not so i think now you are able to know how to do it so if you find my video interesting please like share and comment and if you have any query and concern you can directly contact me the number flashing on the screen thank you so much bye bye